Hi guys, I want to pray for you if you have cysts or lumps or anything in your body, growths that you've been diagnosed with recently or you've seen in your body and you need prayer and you need a miracle and yeah, these are not from the Lord and not the way that he created you to be and Jesus paid for every single sickness at the cross and by his stripes you are healed and we're two or three agree on earth about anything in Jesus name it shall be done so we just yeah we want to stand with you as in me the Holy Spirit and you <laughs> you're never alone he always he said that you'll he will never leave you and never forsake you Jesus said and he sends his spirit the helper the comforter who will be with you always so he's with me right now and he's with you and he's in your room or wherever you are right now and so yeah we're gonna pray together but firstly I want to read you a testimony because a testimony builds faith and it's so important that we come to God in faith not begging not um, yeah not in a place of like will you Jesus will you he said I am willing be cleansed to the leper he is willing to heal and it's important that we build our faith and testimonies are such a powerful way to build faith so this is a testimony from New Creation Church and it's a person that had a cyst in the throat that disappeared so I'm gonna read this testimony and I just ask that yeah, you listen to this testimony and receive it by faith that what God has done for one person, he will do for you. Actually, he's done for many, but <laughs> this is this one person's testimony and he is going to do the same for you today. So it says, some months back, I discovered a cyst in my throat. According to the doctor, I would need to go for an operation to have it removed. If the cyst starts growing or when it affects my breathing or eating. That day I went home and had some quiet moments with the Lord. Then I recalled a testimony that Pastor Prince had shared several times in his messages. It was from a sister whose lump in her breast disappeared after writing on her medical report that as Jesus is without lumps in his body, so is she. This lady knew her identity in Christ. I decided to do likewise and wrote down, as Jesus does not have cysts in his throat, so do I. After a month later, I went back to the doctor. Before the doctor could check my throat, I asked him if the cyst could go off by itself. And he replied that the possibility is very slim and that it has to be removed surgically. Then he took a photo of my throat and we looked at it together on his computer. I remember him looking puzzled as he compared the latest photo with what was taken a month ago. Finally, he said, the cyst is gone. I told my doctor that God had healed me. Thank you, Jesus, who never fails to perform miracles in my life. And this person was from Singapore. Isn't that so beautiful? And so I'm going to pray with you right now. And I just believe uh, that you are going to be healed, that whatever cyst there is, or lumps or growth that it is going to dissolve and just like this lady you're going to go to the doctor and the doctor's going to be like how did that happen and you're going to give testimony and glory to Jesus for what he has done in your body because he is Jehovah, Jehovah Rapha the God who heals he actually is healing when you look at that in the Hebrew Jehovah Rapha he is healing it's not just that he heals he is healing itself just as he is love it says in first john he is healing and so when you come to the lord you come to healing you come to the one who is healing he always 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 desires to heal you his will is to heal you jesus went around doing good and healing all those that were oppressed of the devil which is acts 10 38 from memory <laughs> and so let's just pray together and yeah I just believe right now as we pray that the power of God expect the power of God to flow through your body uh, whether you feel it or not you may feel something going through your body or you may feel just the peace of God um, resting on you just yeah know that that's the power of God touching your body touching those organs touching the cysts the lumps the growths and that they are dissolving right now in the name of Jesus. And so, Lord, I just pray for my listener right now in Jesus name. Lord, I commit them into your hands of grace and I speak to every lump, every growth. Every organ. 
every tissue, every cell that is out of place. And I command in the name of Jesus, everything, Lord, that is not from you to dissolve right now in Jesus name. Every lump, every growth, every cyst, I command you to dissolve. I command you to leave their body in the name of Jesus. Be gone in Jesus name. I command alignment in the body in the name of Jesus. Every single part of their body to function the way that you created them to function, Jesus. The way that you created them to be. And we just declare healing power into their body in the name of Jesus. The same power that raised Christ from the dead. I declare it touches every part of your body, every cell, every organ in Jesus name. And I thank you, Lord. I thank you that it is your will to heal. And I thank you, Jesus, that you paid for healing at the cross. I thank you that healing is for just is for us just to receive. So, Lord, right now we just command in Jesus name life into the body, every cis every cell to leave that is not from you any growth lord we just declare it gone from their body right now in jesus name and we thank you lord for healing them we thank you for the testimony jesus that this brings to your name we thank you jesus that you bore all our sicknesses and all our diseases at the cross and all those that touched you were made whole, were healed. Lord, we just thank you for the testimony, Lord, that this miracle, Jesus, would reach. We thank you that it will reach many, many people. Doctors, nurses, family members, children, aunts and uncles and cousins. Lord, that they may know that you are God and that you love Jesus, that you love them, that you paid for their sin, you paid, yeah, you paid so that they may become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, that they may know you, Jesus, that their sins may be washed away. I pray that this healing would just be, yeah, an incredible testimony of your loving kindness, your goodness, and that the gospel would go forth through this miracle. And we thank you, Jesus, for healing everybody under the sound of my voice. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you. And please leave comments below. Please share testimonies of healing. I just want, yeah, just for this page to really encourage people um, that are going through difficult times that God is for you and not against you. And if he is for you, None can be against you in um, Romans chapter 8. <laughs> I really need to write down these scriptures, <laughs> but they just come to mind. But God loves you so much. And yeah, please leave comments. Please like, subscribe, share videos with anybody that's sick that you know. And yeah, we just stand together as a community of brothers and sisters in Christ, standing against the enemy because he walks around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. And we're standing Paul said, having done all to stand. And yeah, God bless you. Bye.